Uh, right, so we have a standard, right, Jerry? When you install Jerry, you get a standard library, standard edition 1.7, which you're not going to find a package, right? It might have one, but that is why I don't see it, okay? There's so many of them. These are jar files, right? Like, for example, you need to get the scanner. When you want to do scanner, if I do scanner, I need to do what? Import, right? Why we need to do import? Because scanner is a class that being created for us to use and it's being packaged inside the rt.jar <coughs> so it's under if you import it's going to tell you the path to the package java.util so if you scroll to java.util you see <coughs> scanner is resizing in here random too, right? <coughs> so we found it. So that's why we need to import and uh, we need the libraries. Remember if you don't have these libraries you got an errors that you asked me earlier. Like if I remove it which I shouldn't <laughs> it's gonna be an errors right away every line because everything scanner system that depending on string theory correct so we need to put put the library back by going to properties java build path and go to the libraries to add now I can add the library here or I have an option to add the external jars so that means I can create my own classes. I can do my own jar. Right? So this is just from default. You can also like some of you use 1.8, you can just change to 1.8, right? By switching it from here. You can do add from here like this one is formed by default under GRE7. So if you do GRE8, you can install GRE8, right? So I'm going to use default, right? Now, <coughs> for example, <coughs> I want to make my files to read an Excel. If you look at this, Excel is depending on this HSSF workbook, which is coming from this package and this package is not java util it's not even dot it's not java then it's under apache right so i need to install it so if you look at sorry uh go back to here i'm looking for okay so Let's go to that website. POI. To get the latest version. Because if I. Yeah. Right. Because if I do Google search, I'm not going to get the latest one. So. I could use this, but I try to always get the latest, right? 1.8, right? Same thing with GRE, right? When you search, you may get 1.5. We have Apache, and we want to go and download from here, right? So, so it's already tell you how to use. This is pretty much just showing you how to use this too. Right, Java API for Microsoft documents. That's what we want, right? To read Excel. Download. Take extractions, encryptions. 
have helps to help you when you have bug questions. These are for Excel Word. It's already tell you what you need to use here. PowerPoint. VCO2. Outlook. So that means you can write your application to interface with Microsoft. Get the stable, we should get POI 3.10, right? And we can get a binary one. And we, we since we are in Windows, we, I get a zip. Okay. So if you get source, you get the source code too. Now we get pretty much be sure that it's going to be three point one, the latest, right? Also, uh, I went to get a binary and then POI bin. Sip. Yeah, we dollar sip. And now you let's ex let's open your sip. If you are Unix, then you just get that one, right? Or Mac. So you go to the the bunch of jar files. You see that that you can use. So we no, I'm going to show you how to do that. So now. We check that this is what we need. So we come back to, uh, let me make sure I put it. Like, co normally when I download jar, I like to, like, I have my flash drive or your C drive. I like to create a jar file folder, right? Then all the jars will just go here, right? Okay. Um, I'm going to okay. Since I already have this, I'm going to copy and put in that folders too. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick just the jar that I need from this. Uh, it looks like it's going to be the first jar. Did I extract? I need to extract first. Then I'm going to just copy the first jar. The POI, right? Mm hmm. That one. Okay. Now of course, if you want to learn how to use this, I mean, they, they have the manual instructions that you can read through this too. And the docs. So now we're going to put this onto my. But of course, the best way to do this is just wait until it finishes extracting because you might not get a complete file from here. So I'm going to put it under jar file, right? Folder. Or now I'm going to go back to my Eclipse. Open back my Eclipse. Oops. Well, need to put I'm gonna put a library back first all right so all the errors gone now I'll need to include this by right click on your project right and same you can do build path at the external archive right Add the jar. That's the jar. The icon is jar. Yes, that's the jar, right? Yes. Um. It's not a bad idea 
Like now, I just have that, then I don't have to go back and search again and again if I need it. And it's not a bad idea, actually, just put it in the same place, in the same path, folder of your project. Because when you move the machine again, it's going to be an error. Okay. So, um, because the path is depending on F. So, yeah, like if you want to try that, we can p copy and my workspace. Ah, I didn't commit it yet, so I just import from git. Yeah, and then you can do the path from there too. Okay. Uh, Get okay. Let me just let me do it again. Not authorized. All right, so I'm not going to cover that part now. Let me see if I can. Alright, so the path to my project, you just right click and go to properties and go to resource. You see it under C. Now, we go to that path. Alright, so it's very common that we like to create the folder name. Lib, right? Library. Right. So I'm going to create that, and then I'm going to move my files there, which is the POI, right? Copy and put into my project. Okay. So I have my POI right. Now, if I come back to my clips, I'm going to refresh. I should have it right there, right? and now since I'm going to fix this then since I have it right there I can just remove and I'm going to add again okay so right click and go to build path add right and now since I already have it under C at that path, path right so let me copy the path Paste it here, so it should take me to that, which I want this. So it's going to be in under C, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's still under C. Yeah. It's still under my right. local, right? So, 